What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and to another training guide. So today we're going to be taking a look at the center half pairing in this pack. A lot of people are opening this pack lads. I suppose right, look, I can see um, if you are going to be opening this, you've got 11 players, the limited draw is 11 players, you can open all 11. So for a thousand coins, I mean if you get, you know, 10 of these players for a thousand coins, it is very decent. I do think that they will bring really good packs out for eFootball 2024, club packs, you know, whatever team that they're licensed with, it just makes sense, the same as they did last year, you had the Bayern pack, the Barca pack, and they were some of the best cards for the whole year of eFootball 22, um, and for eFootball 2023, so I do think for eFootball 24, we are going to get similar, but for now, I mean, these are, these are really good players, man, I mean, if you've got a squad that you're looking to improve, they're really good players, especially if you've got coins saved up, right? And if some people that are, you know, buying coins and they're used to buying legends and epics and stuff, you're guaranteeing yourself 10 top class players for a thousand coins, right? So, yeah, we are going to be looking at the Licht and Militao today. Very different players, but kind of similar as well. So I did do Martinelli and Foden. Let me know if you like individual or you like pairing the players together, like in these training guides, like I do with Martinelli and Foden. Um, both the Licht and Eder Militao, are, sorry lads, Militao here, are build-up players, right? So they're both kind of like good technical players that are good on the ball. You will see that a lot of the players, defenders that have build-up will have either good passing or good tight possession. You can see with uh, Militao, he's actually got both and he's also got 74 heading, which is nice, as well as defensive stats. The Ligt is just a baller, 71 low pass and he's got the tight possession at 66. So the thing is, when you've got a player like this... um. Yes, they've got the defensive awareness capabilities and tackling and player skills and all that. I would say the Ligt has got some fantastic player skills as a build-up centre-back. I rode off the Ligt for a long time, but I do, I kind of, I am, I am coming around him now since I bought him on my road to glory. And you can see why here with the player skills, right? So he's got unwavering form, but he's also got man-marking, interception, blocker, area superiority, fighting spirit, acrobatic clearance. And then you've got heading and weighted pass with that, um... A long range shooting as well if you wanted to be, you know, popping shots off uh, Roberto Carlos style, right? With Militao, he's a slightly different player. He's more kind of like a rugged defender. So he does have blocker interception, header and area superiority, but he also has sliding tackle, acrobatic clearance and fighting spirit. So the only thing he doesn't really have there is man marking. So you can give him that if you want to, but he doesn't have unwavering form. Now, aggression-wise, Militao is one of the highest aggression stats in the game, 86. This is a hugely important stat. And I think if you are used to playing with destroyers and you want to still kind of play with that mindset and that play style, if you're playing a, you know, quick counter or a long ball counter, aggression is key to get the ball back when you lose it. Especially if you're not controlling the players and the AI are positioning themselves, they do have that tendency to just hone in on the ball like a homer missile, right? So when we are going to be training up Militao, they've got similar stats, they're similar height, they're similar everything. But this is where the similarities end, because if I'm training Militao up, the one key difference between him and Delict are their pace, right? And is the pace that and the acceleration, right? You're going to see here that we've got 76 acceleration and 79 pace. I think this is the best version of him. We've popped two into dexterity and lower body to give us 79 speed, 76 acceleration, and then the stamina at 82. We also have 88 jump. You can trade that off a little bit if you want to, but I think at that, that is quite decent one little trick that you can do here is if you want to get one more onto the jump you can actually pop that into jump there and get 89 jumps so it's just a little uh, trick there if you want to do that but you know you can just put it into the goalkeeper stat because the goalkeeper one stat uh, upgrade that tier is linked to jump as well so when you upgrade this one you get a boost to jump right his goalkeeper stats won't go up, you get a boost to jump, and you also get a boost to jump with this one when you train it up, so both of them are linked there, uh, in case you didn't know that if you're a newcomer, but yeah, the big thing with Militao is that he's going to have uh, speed and aggression, right, 98 aggression with 76 speed, the Ligt is, is not going to have that aggression, or that acceleration, yes, he has 90 aggression, but he's got defensive awareness, tackling, and engagement all above 93, so that is a huge um, plus for him. Jump and physical contact are the big difference there as well. So while Militao does have really good jump, he doesn't have the physical contact of Delict. So Delict is more about getting shoulder to shoulder with your player or with your opponent and being able to muscle him off the ball, especially lighter players. You will just be able to blow past them. That is kind of how the catch-up does work at the moment in terms of speed, that if you are able to get shoulder to shoulder with a, a faster, you know, center forward like Messi or Neymar um, that doesn't have huge physical contact, you will be able to win the ball off them as long as they don't have the ball. If they have the ball, their balance will come in to kind of like give them a little, uh, 
a uh, bit of a advantage there. But yeah, I think if you're playing these two guys, um, would I play them together if you do spin them? I probably would hold out for Kunde um, and uh, Delict rather than have Militao and Delict. I think that Kunde and uh, Delict are a better option, or even Kunde and Militao would be a very, very fast, aggressive uh, center back partnership. Um, if you're playing a back three of Militao, Kunde, and Delict from this pack, you definitely could do that. But yeah, if you want to pause the video there on the training guys, lads, I think they are the ultimate versions, right? The only other option you could do is if you take the defending down a little bit here, if you wanted to go that route and say, right, I'll pop five into acceleration, you're not really going to make any difference to this card, right? So that is why I would always either train up the aerial strength to get the physical contact up, or if failing that, I would just pop it into the defense. And any player that you can get, any defender that you can get with defensive stats over 92, is going to be a monster so yeah that is it for another training guide lads a duo pack here a duo a duo training pack that we have here of militao and delict let me know what you guys think of this and uh yeah i will be back with another training guide soon we will be streaming as well today and thursday and friday and co-op will be back on thursday so let me know what you think we will be spinning a few of these in the live stream as well if we if you haven't already watched it you can watch it back if you haven't live watch it live so until next time i will talk to you in a bit peace